Good morning. I'm going to teach you the difference between hydrates and anhydrates. By simple definition, a hydrate, like the prefix hydra suggests, contains water. This is an ionic compound whose crystalline structure contains water. When we talked about ionic compounds previously, we know that they contain a metal and a nonmetal, or metal and a polyatomic ion. Take, for example, calcium chloride. We write the formula for calcium chloride just as we've always done with an ionic compound. Ca plus 2, Cl minus 1. We use the crisscross method to write CaCl2. We use a dot to separate the salt from the water. This is not a multiplication dot like it is in math. It's just a dot. And then we write a coefficient to indicate how many water molecules there are in the hydrate. So we have a salt whose crystalline structure contains water. Two waters for every one for every one ionic compound of calcium chloride. To name this hydrate, we name both parts, the salt and the water. So to name the ionic compound, we name it just like we've done ionic compounds before, calcium chloride. In order to name the water, we have to use a prefix to indicate how many waters are contained. These are the same prefixes that we've seen before when we have done um, covalent molecules and organic chemistry. So according to the formula, we have two waters, so we use our prefix di, and then the word hydrate. So our name for this hydrate is calcium chloride dihydrate. We name the salt and the water. An anhydrate, the prefix an tells us without, so it would make sense that the meaning of an anhydrate is an ionic compound whose crystalline structure does not contain water. So if we have our hydrate, calcium chloride, what is the anhydrate formula? We simply remove the water. And we see, what are we left with? Just the salt. So our formula for an anhydrate is simply the ionic compound calcium chloride, CaCl2. For the name, again, we've removed the water. So all we're left with is the name of the salt, calcium chloride. 